In this video, I'm going to give you a quick demo of Amplitude Studio, the new DAW style multi track recorder editor that you can add onto the Amplitude app. I'll do so by recording a short piece of music and along the way show you some of the features and functions that you get in this powerful recording suite. So let's get started. Pressing the Studio button gets you to the Amplitude Studio interface. There are the track lanes and there's the playhead. It's the same kind of architecture as on a computer based DAW. Channel strip controls include volume, pan, EQ, sends. To select a channel for editing, you press on the track number like that, and you see its number up there, which shows that it's the active channel. I press the drums button to bring up the built in loop drummer feature. I've got the blues style pack installed, and I use it to create a short, one chorus long blues drum part. When I hit play on the transport, loop drummer will sync to it automatically. With the drum track selected, I can even use the channel controls to adjust it. Volume, EQ, send it to the master effects, just like a regular channel. Next, I'll add a rhythm guitar. I'm using iRig Pro, IK's new universal interface, which has quarter inch XLR and MIDI inputs. Right here, I'm going to use the quarter inch for my guitar and bass. I'll dial up a sound and amplitude. I can always change it later thanks to the auto freeze feature which automatically freezes your rig setting. But as soon as you return to the track by arming it, it's unfrozen and you can change it however you want. So you can have totally independent rig settings for each track and change them after the fact. Okay, I'll make sure the track I'm recording on is armed and I'll hit record. That was good, but I think I'd like to try a different voicing on the last chords. So no problem, Amplitude Studio lets me punch in. I just swipe to the left on the timeline, and now I've created a red punch area. I also have the grid button on at the moment, which constrains my edits to a grid point, and that can be very handy. When you zoom in, which you do with your thumb and first finger using the pinch gesture, you can get a finer resolution on the grid. But right now I'll turn the grid off so I can freely set the punch points. Double tapping on the punch area arms it, and it's ready to go. Okay, let's listen back to the punch. Where that vertical line is on the clip is where the punch happened. If you swipe left to right instead of right to left, you get the loop indicator, so you can loop all sections of the track. Next, I'll add a bass part. My bass is also going direct with iRig Pro. Here goes. Okay, I like that, but if I wanted to edit it, I just tap on the clip, then you see those handles, you can drag those to change the length. You can also use them to add fades. If I tap again, I get this horizontal menu of editing options. I'll show you the split command, which splits the track right at the playhead. Just tap it, and now I can drag that section around. Finally, I'll add the lead guitar. Here goes. I can mix my track by either selecting one channel at a time in the studio window, like I'm doing here, or if I want to see all the tracks together, I can switch to the recorder window, but that has fewer parameters that I can adjust. 
So that's a quick demonstration of just some of the things you can do in Amplitude Studio. Add it to your Amplitude rig, and you'll have a powerful and ultra-portable mobile studio that you can use anytime and anywhere.